Disclaimer, the potential clips used in this video is being used under the Fair Use Act of Section 107. These clips are being used primarily for comedial effect. No monetary gain is being made from these. All rights are reserved and the clips belong to their original owners. Thank you and enjoy. Right. This is it. The final contract. So, I've had a look into this. Um, apparently the final mission is two missions back to back. And the multiple lances which are mentioned is, um, apparently it's two lances. Two lances of four. But they're not being used at the same time. Between the back to back missions there is no time for refit or re pairing. So they're giving you a chance to swap some mechs in and out depending on the damage. Now I've completely reworked um, some mechs for different equipment and just optimizing in that general. I'll show you all that once we get there, but this is the uh it's the beginning of the final chapter, so Roger that, let's get started. Course so I just messed around with the eight mechs that we have. So Lance A is going to be the Highlander. Oh, here we go. What's this? Um, travels in need. In the daily briefing, summary brings up an open hail from a nearby ship. They say that the crew has contracted a violent case of the periphery pox, but the local government is preventing them from landing to receive medical care. Darius shrugs, we could sell them some of our medical supplies. It would limit us in the Met Bay for a while, but given the situation, I expect it to pay up. Dr. Mer bristles against the suggestion. Space should stick together. Commander, besides the local forest, might appreciate generosity. Ah, yes. Oh, man. Antivirus you acquired, huh? Yeah, give us some medical supplies. I mean, a morale gain for minus one penalty, it's not too bad. Besides, I know our King Joel and King Wolf are out at the minute, but should be fine. So, uh, once we get to Commandeer, we'll uh, just let the mechs roll. Now, in terms of the missions, I've absolutely no fucking idea what we're up against because I purposely left this blind because I'm hoping I'm hoping this will be a good mission. But the question is though, I mean, how are we going to work this? Because we got two lances, like do we do the secondary lance first to save the first lance or do we do the first lance first? You know what I mean? There's, there's so many factors to this. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect, so I don't want to speculate too much. So we'll just, we'll just have to see what happens. Oh, I'll just wait for the Black Knight to finish once we get to Commodia. Show you what I've done. Job's done, Commander. Okay. Nope, not yet. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. Right, so before anything else, I want to Stand check back. to see A, if we can get any more abilities, and because this is the last mission. I want to do a little bit of a roll call. So, Archangel, we don't have anything for you, but we do have enough for your tactics, so I might as well just shove them all there just for the minimum range Training and stuff. Why? Why not? So, service record. 12 deployments, 18 mech kills, other kills 5, injuries taken 13, ejections 1, days with company 552. He's got Brave, Criminal, Lucky, Periphery and Reckless. Other than that, really good pickup. I'm so glad I picked him up. He's been brilliant. Reporting. That's it all. Can't do anything for you, but 16 deployments, 15 mech kills, three other kills, two injuries, one ejection, 890 days with the company. Really good mech pilot. Uh, I can't think of anything that stands out, but he's been a really good secondary pilot. It's been really good. Awaiting orders. Ashwang. Ashwang. We picked him up for the um, trebuchet, wasn't it? Zorus so records. 21 deployments, 31 met kills, other kills, 8, 2 injuries, and 0 ejections. Days with the company, 823. Over and all, been another great met pilot. Uh, a couple of things stand out. Probably that one mission where he was left alone with Behemoth dying and 
um, the, uh, trying to think, Glitch ejected with the Vindicator as well as Deffy, and he was literally left on his own, and he managed to finish the job, which was really, really good. Of course, Commander Deffy, as usual, Jack grew. Deployments 34, Met kills 38, other kills 24, 11 injuries, 1 ejection, 1141 days for company. Been a, been a good soldier, actually. Been a really good soldier. Waiting on you, Commander. Glitch. Service record. 31 deployments, 47 mech kills, other kills 19, 4 injuries, 4 ejections, 100, uh, 1,141 days for the company. Other than that, the last of the original crew. So, and she's been... Honestly, she's been detrimental. Not detrimental, she's been pivotal. That's the word I'm looking for to this land setup. Absolutely brilliant. Reporting. Kilo, I'm going to give you 15 deployments, 16 met kills, other kills 9, 7 injuries, 0 rejections, 774 days with company. Really, really good brawler with that dragon. Really, really good. So, nice. King Wolf. Good to go. Picked you up. Let's see. Uh, 8 deployments, 10 met kills, other 3 kills free. 600 kills, zero rejections, days to company 654. Solid met pilot again, picked him up for the blackjack. And on the deployments he was there, they didn't too bad actually. Especially when we were up against the um, the Black Knight for the first time, taking the blackjack rounds to the back and backstabbing it. Pretty cool. I'm here. Legend. Five deployments, one met kill, 890 days of the company. Didn't use you much because I was planning on using you for a specific role, but the game progressed too quickly for your true potential, so thanks for playing anyway, but nothing what can with I that. Do for you? Okay, uh rush anything if you well I was gonna give you breaching shot, but if that's the case, I might as well just give you a tactics and I guess Training just give you two health. So, service record. Eleven deployments. 8 mech kills, 0 kills, 21 injuries, 3 ejections, one of the, uh, the B Lance pilots. Not bad overall, you've done well. Done well in the Centurion, I'll give him that. And finally, Sourdough. Nothing to give to you, but we have 11 deployments, 8 mech kills, 2 other kills, 1 injury, 1 ejections, 774 days of the company. Not bad overall, really good initial specialist. Can't say anything more. Memorial Wall. Here we go. Behemoth. 14 deployments, 11 injuries, 13 met kills, 13 up kills, 0 injections, hit by an enemy dragon. That was on that one mission. I should have. should have punched you out. But I didn't. Get fighting and eventually you fell. So, yeah, thank you. Oh shit! Oh great, okay, you lost me anymore. Tanaki. Killed while trying to jump on an enemy commando. I don't remember that, but I do remember um, he was on that mission piloting the Panther, wasn't it? I think it was that part. What is it? Never Trust a Pirate, I think I called it. Yeah, six deployments, four injuries, one met kill, one of a kill, zero ejections. Here. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going. Oh, it's not down as well. I don't need that. I'm gonna to have to eject. We lost a mech. Oh, fucking really? Right, we lost Tanaki. Oh, that's the third loss of the campaign. Producer. Seven deployments. Three injuries taken. Three mech kills. One of kills. Zero injections. Got eliminated by another mech. Of all fucking mechs, now I know the lore. AC 20 straight to the core, done. One of the original crew with Behemoth, that's what I meant to say. Thanks for playing. Oh crap. Oh. I'm losing weapons. Oh no, not another knockdown, come on. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Oh, I'm gonna Got lose two mech units. I'm gonna lose two mech warriors here. Houdin. That mission with a Centurion for the first time, eh? Hit by an enemy Trevishay. The reason why I got a Trevishay in the first place, I wanted to. 
and I quickly realized how effective cover and even missiles are to use, so two deployments, three injuries, three mech kills, two other kills, zero injections. Thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay. I wonder what I want to know what this mech actually is a good Ooh. Ow. Oh no! Oh no, we lost the centurion! Oh my god. Decker. No, this is fucking weird. Decker. He was one of the originals, but this guy was on the first ever mission and was my first ever casualty with that spider mech he had. Spider 5v, I think it was. And luckily, but no, this guy's became so much of a meme in this game that there is actually an achievement where you get it by completing the game without Decker dying. <laughs> How funny is that? So, fucking Yemba got snuffed out before we even seen his true potential, so, yeah. Well, shit, I wasn't expecting that. Behemoth, Taniki, Producer, Udine, Becca. Thanks. So, Mech Bay, I can get it up. So, Highlander, I've not really done anything except I took out a uh, basic LRM 15 for a double plus for the two stability. That's basically it. The Battlemaster, I've put the comm system in, so that's the plus three resolve, and I've put the TTS in, the targeting system for the ballistic. And I totally did not forget to put this in. <laughs> I will save it for the last mission, I think. Uh, 20 damage, 20 stability damage, but with the targeting system we picked up from the last uh, last mission, this is going to help the AC-20, because even though if the AC-20 has... Oh, no. Sorry, um, those moments where we need the AC-20 to hit, that's what I'm trying to say. The TTS will be extremely useful. Stalker. LRM boat, I had to. Six of these. I was going to go for two 20s, but I don't have any 20s on me, so 15s will do. We still got decent armor. Obviously, our heat efficiency is uh, kind of crap, but a little bit of micromanagement won't will do anything. And besides, if anything, um, it's 100 health to... I think it's 100 heat to um, go over the threshold anyway, I think, so... When you talk about mass, so 60, uh, 40 is pretty good. Well, it's either that or make him a laser boat, but I wanted to missile support. I think that's cool. Awesome. Not doing anything. Just the same as before. Victor. Yeah, just the same as before. Marauder. Nothing. Gyro. Just the, the same stuff. Orion. Nothing else. Black Knight, I just gave him the PPC double plus for the four accuracy and I just taken off uh, a large laser and a medium laser and small lasers and just got a large pulse and a large laser. Basically, I'm just making this guy long range because with this we have, sorry, because with this we have close range where we have SRN Cav, Marauder, Spire Support, or Range Assault rather, whatever. Orion's Close Assault and the Black Knight will be uh, Fire Support then, so. It kind of just balances out because we have a flanker, but we'll have long range, long range, and up close. So, if we have to use one lance one mission and another lance the next, at least we have a little bit of something. And apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. So, what? Well, let's see, we started this in December, May now it is. So, January, February, March, April, five months ago, we started this awesome game. This awesome story, and now, let's finish this. Parlay, an orbit, comedy, it's gonna be good. Ah, the Kynia, welcome home. We have spoken face to face since your father's funeral. Strange, isn't it? For all the time we've been fighting each other for all our struggles, we actually haven't talked until now. I'm not here to talk with you, uncle. I'm here to demand your surrender. Then you'll walk away from this Parlay disappointed. Did I teach you nothing, Kynia? The end game is a time for negotiation, not demand. I remember your teachings well enough, Uncle. If our positions were reversed, 
You attacked me without hesitation or mercy. The founding houses have rallied behind me. You are outnumbered and outgunned. You have nowhere left to turn. And aside from a single hostage, you have nothing to negotiate with. I have a feeling he has an ace up to sleeve. Come here, let's be cautious about this. A single hostage? <laughs> He's your dearest friend. Surely he means more to you than nothing. Alexander means a great deal to me. But I would sacrifice any one person, even myself, for the good of the reach. You are defeated. Concede. I heard your proposal. No, you're not mine. You will leave the system in my hands and solidify your power base elsewhere. I will rule Colomadea. I will hold your friend here to assure your good behavior. You will agree to these terms or you will die. I will die? Your words are air, uncle. Oh shit, whatever. You have nothing left to threaten me with. So you believed when you moved on the castle Nautilus. I think that you're bluffing and I'm willing to wager my life on it. I'll see you on the field of battle. Yes, I suppose you will. The image on your view screen cuts out. Espinosa must have terminated the call. Maybe you know something we don't. Perhaps. But while my uncle holds Commandia, he retains the illusion of a legitimacy. And that is something I can no longer allow. The time to take it. The time has come to take it from him. Darius, raid the founding houses on the comms. Tell them that I am ordering them to drop. All of our companies, our entire fleet, everything we have. As always, I will leave from the front. But take it, Commandia. I we're doing it now. Defi, I want you to remain at ready until I call for you. Prepare your mech warriors and wait for my signal. We're going to crush what remains of my uncle's detriment. With your company's help, I will retake the throne that was stolen from me. I come hell or high water, we will rescue Lord Madeira. I swear it on my father's name. Here we go then. The liberation has begun. And to think it started here. Everything comes around full circle. Look at this. God, I wish this was I wish this was an FMV. Not just still shots. What's happened? You should listen to your uncle, Lady Rana. Oh, we shit. have unfinished business, you and I. The Iberia still carries a full complement of battle mechs, plus enough firepower to level a city. And you know it's too late. I was to wondering when he was going to show his face. When I reach Cormadir, I will drown your restoration in a sea of fire. Yeah. See? Every dog in Arano colors will die. You took my son from me, Kamea. My hope for the future died with him. Yeah. Now I'm killing yours. The sins of our fathers. Oh, by the way, I meant to say, that voice actor, I know exactly who it is. It's Adam Jensen from the Deus Ex Machina series. Hmm. Desperate play in orbit comedy. Well, my things are looking pretty good, my god, say, but hey, <laughs> at least we're thinking of where Spinoza's a secret weapon is. Yep. Thanks for the rare sunshine, Yang. Did any of you see the wall behind Ostergaard? Those were burn marks, bullet holes. But look like small arms fire. His sailors must try to seize the bridge. Ah, I see. So his crews tried to make a coup, but obviously he must have killed them to do this. Okay, makes sense. If there was a mutiny attempt on the Iberia, it failed. As as unhinged as Onstergaard may have sounded, he was right. We can't withdraw our troops without the detriment cutting them to ribbons. And we can't stop a Fortress class dropship. At least. Not for conventional means. Um, you're about to give us an incredibly sketchy job, aren't you? I'm getting that feeling. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Tell us what you're thinking. The Iberia make our classes, but we can still attack. We're going to use the locker. The virus. Oh, Camille, you're getting a bit desperate, here. Uh-uh, no way. Lady Rano, that code completely screwed us at Castle Nautilus. It nearly de detonated our fewer tanks. It's too dangerous to go tinkering around with. We can't... Dos Marad? Oh, okay. We don't have a chip summary. We don't have a, we don't have a chip? What? We don't have a choice summary. 
is the closest thing we have to a weapon that can destroy that ship. If I were wrong about this, Farrow would have told us by now. Tell him, Doctor, can we do this? Can't we? Yes, I think we can. Even if it doesn't destroy the Iberia, it'll cripple her long enough to take her out of the bite. But that code is a science experiment, not a weapon. I think I can modify it into one, but there'll be risk involved then that I can't offer any guarantees. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, let's do your best. And imagine you feel that way. I'll go ahead and get started. We're still going to need a way to get the code onto Ostagar's ship. I suggest taking over a ground based communications array, something on the network that the Iberia's computer trusts. There's a Detroit comm station on Lyris. The Throne World's second moon. It was a system's primary communications hub during my father's reign, and my uncle used it for the same purposes now. You could use it to transmit the locker and then destroy it. The control tower is automatic, so automated, so there shouldn't be any collateral damage. You'd be killing two birds with one stone. A locker, you think? <laughs> I rigged the explosives, like I did when that SCFL fault. We're likely to encounter heavy resistance when we touch down. Uh, I'll see if I can find an engineering solution to help us deal with it. Maybe my team can seize control of the turrets, making an advice for us for a change. Uh, you should probably try to bring a jump capable lance if you can, Commander. Comma rays like the one in the layers tend to be housed on elevated platforms. Lots of ramps and chop points. Thank you, Doctor. We're hinging everything on the plan's success. It's vital that Ostergaard attention remains fixed on me and the Restoration Army, to the exclusion of your operation on Lyris, and so I will give him something to focus on. I'm accelerating our offensive. We're marching onto the Detroit's final stronghold, Cordia City, the capital of Comradia. Uh, if anything, we'll keep focused on you. That's all. We'll do our best. It looks like you're extending yourself to good. You'll be able to push for you. Uh, yeah, if anything, we'll keep focusing on you. That will we'll do our part. Damn right, we will. We'll rendezvous. We'll run rendezvous. <laughs> we'll rendezvous. The lady run or comrade do when the job is done. We've got a job to do, people. And it'll be the biggest challenge we've ever taken on. So put on your war faces. Sir, you got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! No! And follow the commander's lead. We got a dropship to crash. Yeah, I got that right. Right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Because we have two lances. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think it means, like, fucking, you know, multiple lances. Right. I understand what it means No. At least that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. But. If we need jumping abilities, we got somebody on the jumping. So the question is, what kind of lance setup do we want? Um... Okay. Um, okay, so... Highlander... Okay, we're gonna take... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the Victor, that's for sure. You see, it's four and a half. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the Victor, we're gonna take the Highlander, we're gonna take the Bow... No, not Bow Master, we're gonna take the Awesome. I'm oh, sorry, the Stalker. Take the Awesome. So, here's my thinking. If we are going to use jump jets, right? The Victor's got that speed. But the Victor will also act as a... What's the word? Think of it as like a jumping beam. The enemies are going to be focusing on the Victor, but because of the high evasion that the jump jets gives us, it's going to allow them to be an evasive tank. On the flip side, Highlander, Stalker and Awesome, which is more fire support and longer ranges, is going to take this mission space or gurgle with this lance up. Now, um, I kind of want to take. I took Asatol last time, but I'm thinking Kilo might be the better. Yeah, I think she'll be the better pilot for the Victor, actually, to be honest. I mean, we got Bulwark, we got Surefooting, which is, what's that? Um, pilots have been evasion charge after moving. If the move is not sprint, jump, or charge the melee, the mech also gets entrenched, which is eh, that's fine, but it's the extra bonus evasion charge, which is pretty nice. And also, we do have ace pilot as well, which will allow us to shoot and jump. Not to shoot and move, but we can shoot and jump, which is what we need. And Outrider sounds a bit right for her, so glitch, get the Highlander, sharpshooter. Um, Sourdough. No, actually, do we want Ashwank? Multi-target with, uh, let's see, with a shoe foot. Nice, that's good, I'm sure we want more placements. Uh, let's see, sensor lot, multi-target, yeah, I'll do. 
get no and finally um awesome is definitely that is okay get in here got the lance let's go and it's tundra as well so heat is going to be not a problem okay so that's what i'm thinking um jump so you know there's going to be high ground we could jump jets on the um the victor as i mentioned three fire support mechs or long range mechs whatever well, in a sense, the awesome is more of a mid-range. Yeah, it's more of a mid-range. But, it should be alright. <sighs> Just I'm really, let's see. Uh, take Dr. Farrah Murad to the common central station. Destroy the Detroit garrison. Hold out while Dr. Murad uploads to Lakura to the Iberia. It's all enough situation, Defi. Lost the guy's on his way to Comedia to break the back of my army. And I'm on my way to join him. You have this one chance to wreck the Iberia and turn the tide. Do this, and our war will be won. It's going to be one hell of a job, Jack. Our entire plan revolves around the science experiment gone wrong, but our faith in Dr. Murad, and a powerful desire to see Ostagard dealt with permanently. <sighs> oh, this is the end, the end, the end, the end. What's the point of the fucking money? Unless there's a... Oh, wait a minute. Is there a post-game to this? That'll be interesting if there's a post-game. Right, okay, let's do this. Command interface initiated. Okay. Sorry about the rough landing. Farah, you okay now? Yeah, I'm alright. The rumble seat is even less comfortable than it looks, though. Oh, tell me about it. Did you find the care package I left in there for you? The explosives? Yes. I'll set them to bring down the control tower after upload the Lakura to the Iberia. Let's get moving, Commander. Let's go. Lady Orano is counting on us. Oh, we got some. Oh. Okay. We got APCs. Okay, okay, let's have a look. Are you kidding me? We didn't even need jump jets. We could have just fucking brought the attrition lance. What am I playing at? Alright, fuck it. This is better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Everybody, move up. So oh, we've got contacts we've got ready. Unknown on Alright. Alright, let's get the Highlander here. Got it. Stalker, we're going to bring it back to here. Okay, it's long range anyway, so this is pretty decent. Location awesome, get right up there as well. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, I wouldn't get too close. Are you gonna sense a lock? Nope. 45 ton. Even though ah, oh, God, this help is. Why do you pronounce this? Is it Sletfna? Sletfnia? Selfnia? I don't know. Me and. Ooh, that was amazing to it. Ouch. Okay. Uh, we're going to reserve. Aye, aye. Okay, so this is 65. And this is 65. 65. Oh, God, the other six can fucking blow up in a second. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's do this. Okay. Um, we can jump to the tree line. We'll have a line of sight from here and here and here. So okay, so we have the Vindicator. We've got a heavy laser turret. Orion 1K. And we have a Capital C1. Okay. 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 Alright. Let me have a look here. Who? Alright. What's the heavy laser turret? Is that just a bunch of large lasers? Oh my god. It's medium lasers and large lasers. Okay. Right, let me see. I need to. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking. Um. What's the 1K bringing? LRM 15, SRM 4, SD 10, medium laser, medium lasers. Cause so this is the. Um, have we got the K version or is it the B version? I can't really remember off the top of my head. Um. Let's see, well, we got... Oh, God. This... We're near enough to fall on the C1. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to do here. Um, I say we just take care of the heavy laser turret, then. 
Might as well. I mean, can we kill it? Give it a shot. We gotta do something. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and interested in the videos, and leave a comment, what's your favourite part of the video, I would love to know. There are links if you're interested, one to my most recent upload if you would love to see what I'm currently doing, one to the playlist if you want to catch up or watch from the beginning, and finally one to the channel to browse my other videos. Whatever you choose, please have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.